What is the best financial advice I pay for? It's only cost me $80 a year and perhaps you should too. Most of you folks know I'm a DIY, do-it-yourself kind of investor. I do have a financial advisor that I meet with uh, who's paid out of my expense ratio funds. I don't pay anything uh, to this advisor, but since I have a certain threshold of money, uh, one is provided for me. I can meet with them five or six times a year. And uh, you know, fees, fees, fees are so important to your return and so important to me. Uh, but I do pay for this advice. And this advice is on taxes. The tax code is something that's always changing. It, there's a lot of moving parts. And what I do is once a year, I don't do this around tax time. In the United States, this is uh, around April, March and April, real busy times. So somewhere around July, August, September, I'll sit down with a tax professional. They charge me $80 an hour and they have my tax refund, refund or tax form, <laughs> completed tax form, uh, in front of them, giving me advice on where I can pay the appropriate amount of taxes. Love paying my taxes, but I only want to pay pay my share. Um, the biggest gains from doing this is really getting granular on doing Roth conversions. So I have most of my money is in an IRA, uh, fully pre-taxed. So um, uh, fast forward into uh, required minimum distributions, now it's 72. Uh, who knows when it's going to be by the time I get to be 72. Hopefully, it just keeps being pushed out. But at 72, I got some pretty sizable RMDs coming, coming, which is a good problem to have. You should be projecting your taxes out uh, 20, 30 years. So to prevent some 37% taxes and could be higher with new tax laws coming in, I'm making RM, uh, Roth conversions today in 2022. So finding out exactly how much I should convert, what the taxes are due, and making quarterly payments on those taxes is really 80% of why I'm sitting down with a financial advisor, not a financial advisor, sorry, a, a CPA, sitting down with a CPA to look at um, the Roth conversions. He also looks at our charitable giving. Are we giving, uh, do we have opportunity to give through our, uh, investments rather than after tax give. Uh, my wife and I love to give away uh, some money. We're in that, uh, in that position. We like to help our nonprofits. Uh, uh, you know, we got several of them we contribute to. But sitting down with a tax professional to understand uh, where your money's going and to maximize uh, the impact you can have with your money by minimum, minimizing the amount of taxes you pay is so critical. And I am delighted to spend $80 for that. So high, highest of recommendations from me, if you are a do, do it yourself or with your investments, great. Even if you're working through a financial advisor, are they a CPA? Do they understand tax? Or do they just understand it at a high level? You, to really understand your taxes, you need to understand the line item of every page on your tax forms, and that's what a CPA can do for you. I highly recommend it. 80 bucks an hour is my guy. I really like it. Avoid tax season. Uh, I, I promise you it'll, it'll help you out. The, uh, I don't give too many guarantees, but that, that's a guarantee it'll help you out on your taxes. Most people don't realize that they're one of their biggest expenses, it's probably in your top three, definitely in top three, I would say, is taxes. And uh, you know we manage our budgets uh, really tight, uh, where, we're, where our money is going, you know, whether we're buying a, a, a new chair or buying groceries, but what about taxes? Having a professional in your ear giving you advice on how you can save money on taxes to me is a great investment, 80 bucks.